Hey everybody, I'm CC Trubiak and welcome to CC's Vinyl Closet. Here at CC's Vinyl Closet, well, I just love listening to a lot of old country music on vinyl record and then sharing some of my gospel with you guys. So if this sounds like your kind of thing, we're not gonna waste any more time today. We got a real special installment for you guys today with none other than Hank Snow. Let's go. I've only just truly discovered Hank Snow and his music. While I've been going back to the history of country and Western music, I've encountered photograph after photo of Hank Snow and his gorgeous, beautiful smile and that star quality. All of it compelled me to basically stop everything I was doing and ensure that I prioritized him with all of my country music research. Now, at least today, I can confidently say that I've learned enough about him and his music to justifiably make this installment finally happen. So, what do I now know about Hank Snow? Listen to this. Hank Snow, rest in peace, was born Clarence Eugene Snow in 1914, and he passed away at the age of 85 in 1999. He was born in Brooklyn, Queens County, Nova Scotia, Canada. Pioneering Canadian country artist. I'm like, what? As a child, his mother had a cheap guitar, and this gave Hank his first try on a stringed instrument. Hank loved the music of Jimmy Rogers, who not only became his idol, but served as a guiding star along the road to his own eventual success. Initially, Hank worked many jobs, including on fish docks, on farms, and he continued his practice on the guitar and often sang to entertain his friends and ward off loneliness. Hmm, <laughs> something I can understand. Finally, he was encouraged by friends to audition at radio station CHNS in Halifax. He'd do his first show on that day of his audition. I've read that soon after he decided to form the now famous Rainbow Ranch Boys and he established himself as the Singing Ranger. He grew professionally, including becoming a featured act on the Canadian Farm Hour, and he was signed to RCA Victor Canada in 1936. I mean, honestly, I loved reading about his Canadian beginnings. As a Canadian boy myself, I'm a huge fan of country music, and I'm inspired by his origin story and his success. And I mean, how cool is it? He moved all the way to Nashville in 1949, and made his first performing tour in the US of A to coincide with his first American record. He joined the Grand Old Opry in 1950, and what a glorious time that had to be for him and all those brilliant artists. And trust me, his list of hits and accomplishments is long. By the way, did you know that it was Hank Snow who persuaded the directors of the Grand Old Opry to allow a young Elvis Presley to appear on their stage? in 1954? I sure didn't know this. What I can say I know is I love looking at all the photos of Hank performing in lavish and colorful sequin studded suits. And I know in his legacy, many other notable artists have referenced him as an influence. Everyone from Elvis, the Rolling Stones, Ray Charles, Johnny Cash, and even Emmy Lou Harris has covered his music. So what about the music? Hank Snow released roughly 46 studio albums between 1952 and 1985, and many, many, many compilations. Here I thought I might have had one of his original studio albums in my collection, but it turns out the LP I have is a compilation. Actually, what it specifically says right in print on the back is, the present album is made up of the most requested Hank Snow recordings, all of which were previously unavailable. Huh, well there you go, this counts for something. The one and only Hank Snow is a compilation album that was released in 1962 on RCA Candon. I've done my homework and I've read as much as I could about his early life, and I've certainly listened to each of these songs many times. Now here are just some of my thoughts on a handful of the tunes that really stood out for me the most. First up, I'd like to note the first track on this record, a song called The Wreck of Old 97. And while I don't usually enjoy disaster songs per se, this one's worth mentioning because of the history. This song was written about the American Rail disaster from 1903. Yes, I said 1903, long, long, long time ago. Nevertheless, that wreck inspired several songs, including this ballad, which would have first been released in 1924. Since then, 
It's being recorded by many people, including Johnny Cash, the Statler Brothers, Woody Guthrie, and of course, Mr. Hank Snow. So here's a little bit of lyrics from Wreck of the Old 97. They gave him his orders at Monroe, Virginia, saying, Steve, you're away behind time. This is not 38, but it's old 97. You must put her in, Spencer, on time. Then he looked round and said to his black crazy fireman, just shove him on in a little more coal. And when we cross that white oak mountain, you can watch old 97 roll. Oh man, I love this next song called I Wonder Where You Are Tonight, written by Johnny Bond and originally released as a single for Jimmy Wakely and his Rough Riders in 1940. Now folks, I'm not sure when this song was released by Hank Snow as a single, but I do know that I love the lyrics and had to recommend it to you guys. So here's just a little bit of I Wonder Where You Are Tonight. <laughs> Tonight I'm sad, my heart is weary Wondering if I'm wrong or right Although you've gone and found another I wonder where you are tonight That old brain is cold and slowly falling Upon my window pane tonight And though your love was even colder I wonder where you are tonight I also got to enjoy the funner side of Hank Snow on a song called Ladies Man, written by Cy Cohen, which was released as a single in 1952, and it peaked at number two for Hank. Why do I enjoy this one? Well, it's just fun. And who doesn't find a ladies man irresistible now? Come on. I'm a ladies man, oh yes sirree. I like the gals and the gals like me. Can I make them swoon? Oh yes I can. Don't know what it is about me they love, but what it is I got plenty of. Make way for me, I'm a loving ladies' man. I'm a ladies' man, and that's no crime. I like them round me all the time. I've got a line of talk they understand. Now you may like a baseball game, but as for me, that's much too tame. I get my thrill just being a ladies' man. Now I should say here, there are plenty of fun songs on this album, and the musicianship is great. Now having just come off the Brenda Lee deep dive, I can definitely say that this Hank Snow record is not rockabilly, it's definitely not pop, it's as straightforward country and western music as it gets. Some of the finest playing I've heard comes on a song, an instrumental track actually, called Carnival of Venice. It's a very pretty song, guys. I highly recommend that if you're interested, check it out. Another song that's as straightforward country as it gets is Anniversary Blue Yodel. Blue Yodel, number seven, written by Hank's very own idol, Jimmy Rogers. I was a stranger passing through your town. I was a stranger passing through your town. Well, I asked you a favor, good gal, you turned me down. I'm not singing the blues, I'm just telling you the hard luck I've had. I'm not singing the blues, I'm just telling you the hard luck I've had. Cause the blues ain't nothing but a good man feeling. I can really get into these old songs, these old weary blues type of songs. There's really only one more song that I'd personally love to touch on, and it's a song written by Hank Snow himself called The Drunkard's Son. Now there's a story behind this song worth sharing. I discovered that in 1978, so years and years after this album even, Hank Snow established Hank Snow International Foundation for Prevention of Child Abuse and Neglected Children, Inc. 
and I found it very worthwhile to know. Hank Snow courageously shared his own experiences living in a home with exposure to abuse, neglect, but how he drew from those hardships and he faced life and the world on his own terms and he most definitely succeeded. These experiences left an imprint on him and he took tremendous interest in the welfare of children, something that I really appreciate. So in terms of this song, The Drunkard's Son, it's mournful, let me warn you, but I'll let it speak for itself. So please just listen to that one if you're interested. Here's a little bit of The Drunkard's Son. In an old dusty attic of a tenement house, I happened to wander one day. And there on the rafters, neath the shavings and chips, a drunkard's poor little boy lay. Oh, why are you lying up here in the cold? What makes you lie on this hard bed? My father's a drunkard and he beat me today. My darling old mother is dead. It's some pretty powerful stuff, right? A lot of people can make jokes about how depressing country music can be, but country music lyrics are quite honestly some of the most pure and honest lyrics you'll get. And to me, that's actually far more hardcore than the rockiest and sleaziest of rock songs. That's just my opinion. That's why I like country. And so while I might not wanna live in this particular music vibe, if you will, on a constant 24 seven, that might be a little too much. I admit that I am open to visiting there because I can learn from the stories like Hank's and I can appreciate his strong voice and his musicianship and that he broke into the Nashville scene at all. So that about sums up all of my thoughts on today's installment of CC's Vinyl Closet. I highly recommend folks listen to Hank Snow and let me know what are your favorite Hank Snow songs or stories. Please leave your comments below. Thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel. And until next week's special installment, please take care of yourself and take sweet, sweet comfort in the music.